Scarlett. Today I'm doing a haul video for you on some products that I got when I was at IMATS the other weekend. So I have a ton of stuff from NYX. I'm not going to show you everything from NYX because that would be a very, very long video. And then I have a bunch of other things from random brands that I picked up that I was really just wanting to try out. And a lot of them I've already tested out a little bit so I can tell you my first impressions of them. So if you guys all enjoy this, let's get started. So I want to start with my favorite thing, which is my eye candy glitters. I want to get all of them now. I'm so obsessed. So I have one on my eyes right now, which is none of these. Where is it? This one, which is called Honey Drop. So these are loose glitters. And what you do, so here's what it looks like inside. They look super tiny, but you don't need that much at all. And these are pretty inexpensive. So you take this. This is called their Liquid Sugar Base. And you pour a little bit into the cap, like literally three drops, nothing at all. And then you pour some of your glitter on the lid, run this in the liquid, tap some of that glitter on, and just press it on your eye. I like to use this at the end of my um, eyeshadow. Like, I'll do my eyeshadow how I want it, and then I'll apply this on my lid. Because I find that once you have it on, it's hard to then add eyeshadow on top of it because it might flake off. So... I like to do this as a last step, and then if I do need more eyeshadow in the crease, I just try not to touch the glitter, but this one is such a beautiful gold. These are just so crazy pigmented. I'm going to do some close-ups uh, of all the colors um, so you guys can see them. Um, so I got that one. I also got uh, Ballistic Berry, which is a beautiful silver light blue color. And then I got this one, which the name fell off, but I'm trying to think what it's called. Um, it has like white, pink, it's just like a very pretty like light pastel. I have Toffee, which is a beautiful um, bronze color. I had that in my last video. Also Tutti Fruity, which is a super pretty like rosy purpley color. And Taffy, which is more of like a rose gold. So these are gorgeous. They're so beautiful on your lid. I also got a liquid lipstick from the company Violet Voss. I hadn't heard of this, but then I was watching some videos and people were talking about their liquid lipsticks. So I got this in the shade Trist, which is a beautiful mauve color. I had this on my lips with that eye candy in my contour video. And I had it in the video before that as well. So I swatched this and knew I was going to get it right away because it's just such a beautiful color. This is kind of my ideal color right now. It's kind of like that mauve purple. So I... I've worn this a few times and it does dry, obviously, because most liquid lipsticks are kind of drying on your lips. So it wasn't like awful. It didn't make my lips flake or anything like that. But I did like to put chapstick on top and it just kind of helped to soften it. But I really like it. On my hand, it looks a little bit more purple. On my lips, it comes out a little more pink. Okay, next up, I got the Model in a Bottle Setting Spray. I got the Sensitive Skin Formula. It says Makeup Setting Spray Matte Finish. And this one has, what is in here that makes it? It has aloe in here and lavender. I tried this for the first time today. My only complaint about this is the nozzle. It doesn't spray very even. My Makeup Forever one has just a really nice fine mist. This one I finally try it again. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It just feels like somebody's throwing water at you, which is not the best. So we'll see how this holds up as far as it actually keeping my makeup on all day long. And uh, I don't know, maybe it'll work better than my Makeup Forever one. Or, what Did I say Makeup Forever last time? Urban Decay setting spray. That's the one I always use, the chill setting spray. So I wanted to see the difference between the two of these. So we will see. But it does smell really nice. I also got this new foundation by Elsie. It's the, I think it's their only, it's like all they have. The Micro Silk Foundation with Green Tea Extract, White Tea Extract, and Vitamin E. So on the side, it has like all these amazing things about it. It's paraben-free, vegan, gluten-free, cruelty-free, HD coverage. It says that it's long wear, water-resistant, lightweight, anti-aging, blendable. So basically everything you want. I first heard about this from Jaclyn Hill, and she was, you know, saying that it's her favorite foundation of the whole year, and she said that it's a dewy finish. So I, I don't know, I just thought it looked really pretty at IMATS. And they put a little bit on my face to kind of match my color. And I really like the finish that it gave me. So I got the color Sand. I think this was their second shade. Like there was some, one was really light and then this one was a step up. So here is the 
foundation. Um, it looks a little yellow on my skin. I can I can work with it though. I can like mix it with things, but it just feels so nice and silky smooth. This does not match my skin. I will keep you guys posted on that because I'm really excited and I have high hopes for it. Okay, next up I got a bunch of brushes from Royal and Langnickel. I'm so excited about these. Oh my goodness. Oh, their booth was just amazing. And I got a whole lot. So I got three different types, three different like collections, I guess you could say. Um, I picked out just individual ones from their Silk Pro line, which are the black handles. So look like this. I'm most excited about these actually. So I have the flat powder, which is this guy. Um, I'm not really sure why I got this one. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this. I think I thought it was like, looks like a good one for bronzer or something. And then this one is the synthetic bronzer. I just needed a new, oh, this feels so soft. I needed a new flat top um, brush like this. Mine is just extremely old. And then this is just an awesome, this is the pointed dome powder. I just thought this was a really nice size. I could use this for a lot of different things. Powder, um, bronzer, and then I got the fan brush for highlight. And then I got the brow, lash, and comb. This is just awesome to have for travel because I always like to brush through my eyelashes with these little things, these little combs. And then I also got the blush brush, which looked really nice. So just like kind of the perfect size apply your blush right there and these ones are so cute so it came in this thing and what are these ones called um i took all the packaging off of all of these but i will link everything down below for you guys this is my absolute favorite type of brush now i love this for setting my under eye concealer it's so good this powder brush is super super soft so, and these are their newest line of brushes which are so beautiful the blue color is for eyes and i thought these were just the most perfect brushes for shadow i got this stipple brush and then this foundation tapered foundation brush because i love those types and then here are my face brushes that i got so um i love these the handles are kind of like a matte finish they feel really nice and again they're so pretty okay moving on to my next product so i went to the party the after party that they had which was so awesome. I didn't go last year, but I went the year before and they just stepped up their game and it was really fun. So they always give you this amazing goodie bag and obviously I don't need all this stuff. So I will do some giveaways coming up, but I wanna show you some of the products just kind of like, just to give you a little taste. So they did come out with some new brushes in this. I love the brush holder. I just like black. And then they're all really soft. Um, I think they look really nice. I don't have any NYX brushes. I don't even know if they have brushes. I'm sure they have brushes, but these are just some of their new ones. This one looks really nice for foundation. They came out with a ton of different palettes. So here are these. So there are three of the eyeshadow palettes. These are the Rocker Chip palettes. Um, this one I'm most excited about. I haven't even opened these. Oh, they are so cute. Look at that. Oh my God, that is so adorable. So this one is like a charcoal color and this one is black but I mean the pink is adorable this is so cute so here is the inside you get this really nice shimmery whitish pearl a matte brown kind of like a warm brown and then a shimmery pink and gold let's see how these look that looks decent so we'll see how they look actually on the eyes. Okay, so this one is called the, oh, these are the NYX Beauty School Dropouts. And this is called the Freshman. Ooh, that's fun. So, ooh, ooh, over here there's super pretty neutral colors. I love these like army color green shades. And then you have some blushes, a bronzer, and then these are like some really fun color, color colors. I don't know how, mu how much I will use those, so I don't know if I need that. This one is the Graduate. So here is this. So again, you have two bronzers, two highlights, three blushes, and then a ton of eyeshadows. This would be really good for travel as long as, as, long as it wouldn't shatter. But that one's really cool. And then this last one is the Alumni Palette. So you get 
just like more of everything. Oh, and then also a big lip kit too. Okay, moving on to this big old bag of products. So there are a bunch of new blushes. These are the ombre blushes, and this one looks super pretty. It's the mauve color. I just painted my nails today, and I'm gonna just mess them all up right about now. Ooh, that's pretty. Kind of reminds me of the It Cosmetics blushes. So, um, let me just watch this. There is that. Oh, it's not very pigmented. That's better. You just have to build it up a little bit, but it looks pretty. So there's a bunch of different shades of those. Let me know if you guys want a whole video swatching some of these. Like, there are a ton of new uh, lip products. So there's a bunch of new colors of the butter lipsticks, the soft matte lip creams, which are my absolute favorite. There's a new lipstick, the full throttle lipsticks. And they have, what else they have new of? Uh, new butter gloss colors. Oh, they also have glitters, which I'm so in love with these days. Just like loose glitters. How fun is that? Um, they came out with some new Sculpt and Highlight Brow Contour Sticks. There are also the Sculpt and Highlight Face, which are liquid, so that's cool. Um, I just did a contour video. This would be absolutely perfect for that and super easy. They came out with the Cream Highlight and Contour Palette. Contouring is just the rage these days. These are called the Vivid Bright uh, Eyeliners. The product I'm most excited about is this palette. This is called the Strobe of Genius Illuminating Palette. They had these on the tables there and I was swatching them like crazy. They're so pretty. Oh my goodness. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, Summer was like applying them all to my face. My Snapchat's just my, just my name, Kendra Atkins. So I have a lot of random stuff over there. If you guys want quick what I eat in a day videos, I usually post what I eat on there. So let me show you some of these. So there's just like this beautiful pearl shade. Um, there's kind of like this bronzy color. Look, can you see that? I don't even know if you guys can see that. Um, and this really gorgeous gold tone. Summer was just layering all of these on me. Oh my gosh, these are so pigmented and beautiful. I can't even get over it. So those are all the fun things that I got at IMAS. It was super fun. It was an exhausting weekend. LA is exhausting. And I'm going back to LA this weekend for Gem Beauty. I'm super excited. I got a hotel up there with a couple girls and we're gonna have a really good time. So I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day and I will see you very soon. Bye.